Hello everyone, it's Anna from Anna's Paper Creations and I have a new design team project for Graphic 45 to share with you. And uh, if you are looking for some uh, more inspiration I will post a link to the blog and Pinterest and uh, Ning site below. And there you can find a lot of uh, fun uh, projects uh, using uh, their papers. So I made a purse mini album with a beautiful couture papers from Graphic 45 and uh, this was so fun to uh, to make and uh, uh, this purse is uh, a box and uh, it's a mini album inside so I will show you that in a minute but uh, maybe show you the papers I used first this, uh, this couture paper and uh, I used both uh, the 8x8 and 12x12 and uh, some um, stickers and cutouts and chipboard cutouts and uh, I also used uh, the stamp set number three so it's uh, this one really beautiful images here so um, yeah uh, maybe show you a bit around on the purse first and um, give you a bit overview here so here you can see the mini album inside and I have some um, uh, decoration here, and <laughs> now I forgot the word, some chain, <laughs> so uh, some dangling down here, and here it says uh, fabulous, and this is from the cardstock cutout, and some fussy cutouts here, and this is a border uh, punch from uh, Marta Stewart, and here I, I also used yes, uh, the 6x6 solid papers, and um, for the top here, I used the trim I had uh, with uh, some roses and uh, to make it stand up like so I glued a, a thin wire under and then some um, band under here so to make it uh, hold its shape so like so so I can maybe take up uh, this on the side here the dangling here show you a bit here before I open it so uh, here I have a tassel and this comes on the trim I had in my stash, so I just uh, used one. And here is a working clock. And here is a key that I painted black from Graphic 45. And also two other keys here I painted. And this is uh, from Tim Holtz, and I also painted uh, that black. Maybe give you more close up here. And I glue an image from the paper co collection inside with a glossy accent. So, it's a clock. And um, on the front here it says uh, Paris, and this I got from my friend Vandana. So thank you so much Vandana, it fits perfect here. So it was silver and I painted it black. And I cut out this uh, beautiful lady here. And all uh, is glued down with a Claudine Helmut Multimat, and I used that for all my fussy cut inside the album. And here it says contour and a feather here and some flowers here. And this uh, shoe was um, uh, not black, so I just colored in some of it with a black marker. And a bit left over from this trim behind here. And um, this can be opened up like so. It's a magnet here, so that closes and I can write something inside here. So it's a magnet behind here and also under here, so then it's a close up like so and uh, then we can open it up and I choose not to take the album this uh, way uh, uh, it's much more easier to hold the album this way so here is the album and um, I can show you here is a magnet behind here as well it's a lot of magnets in this album and if you wonder where I got it from I got it from an eBay seller so I will link to that below so uh, this can be taken out and fasten it all with uh, magnets like so so here you maybe can see a magnet under so i have uh, three magnets here and also on the spine here so i can choose if i want to uh, flip inside like so or take it out so i think i will take it out so more easy to show you it so on this side here i have um there's also magnets, so this is fastened, and here you can do some journaling and a little tag. And this is from Sizzix, so this is loose. So 
and some fussy cut flowers here and uh, this beautiful ladies here. I really love all these images. I had so much fun working with this. And here it says a girl should be two things, classy and fabulous. So that must be Coco Chanel. <laughs> so I cut out also a lot of uh, words here. So um, yeah, I can show you on this side here. Here I have, um, let's see here. You can uh, place a photo or some journaling inside here. These tags and this is from the cardstock cutout and I just colored uh, with my marker around here. And uh, this peacock here is uh, from um, Magnolia dye. So, and also a cardstock cutout here. So just for some decoration and fun. So and here I used a stamp set. So it's in style. And here you can place a photo. And these uh, corners here, these are open here. So and it's a uh, Martha Stewart uh, die. So this goes inside here with a magnet. And these flowers here, if you see that, uh, the pink paper I used here is from Sweet uh, Sentiments. I wanted some uh, pink paper as well. So uh, and also use my EK success uh, punch to punch out some of. Um, uh, the flowers here. The black one are from the cardstock cutouts and I uh, punched out this uh, pink here and I used um, see here, this stamp here over. So and the feather here and a little this I haven't glued down so it can be taken out. And uh, here is a lady and um, here I cut out this uh, twice and just popped it up and also the hat here is popped up so just had to dress her up a bit here so I <laughs> done that with a lot of uh, images inside and here is also cut out from the paper a brochure something so uh, that was uh, the box and uh, now I will show you the album so here is uh, the first uh, page and if you wonder how I construct this, it's I had an AccuCut die for a purse and uh, I needed some other measurements so I decided to draw my own. So I just took a paper and folded it in half and drew a shape. So I will post all this and the measurements on my blog if you like to make one. So I do I let a, get a lot of questions if uh, you can copy me and i would be happy if you do. So, uh, uh, if you can use some ideas, or uh, I love to give some inspiration. So, and inside here, I, uh, when I fussy cut out images, I always uh, save the frames. They are great for photo mats. So, um, this can be used as a photo mat, or I can put a photo inside here. And I also made a pocket here. So, this goes inside here. I can get it back here. <laughs> So, also a little tag here. I'll give you a close-up here, maybe. I uh, got the lady and some flowers here. So, <laughs> uh, really have fun uh, fussy cutting. I, f I find it really relaxing and uh, I think uh, then you can create your own shapes or... Um, how uh, do you say, <laughs> say that in English? Uh, transform it or, uh, yeah, make your own uh, like you want to have it. And uh, this uh, lady here, I popped up uh, the hat one time and then I've cut out this <laughs> one time. So it's uh, popped up three times and also here and for this. And um, I made her a skirt here. So I just colored in a bit with a white here, some white paint. And then it opens uh, like so. And inside a purse you have to have a pocket for some a mirror and uh, the keys here and uh, yeah. <laughs> and uh, this opens like so. And here is um, another frame with um, you can uh, use for photos or journaling and uh, and this is a mirror. You have to have a mirror in your purse. And uh, this is a Tim Holtz uh, movers and shapers die. So it's fastened with a magnet here and some umbrella and I'm not sure that what brand this is. Uh, try to find it. 
it's uh, this die here from Impression uh, Obsessions. So it comes with a lot of glasses here. So and also have a pocket here and a little tag inside here. And uh, this um, peacock feather here is a magnolia die. And I've also got some shoes here and pop them up on pop dots. And uh, for the next page here, this lady I really love. So I decided to dress her up a bit more. So I made her a hat with uh, these are some magnets inside here. I can do some small journaling here. And uh, it's also another hat here with uh, some magnets. So I can place them on her here. So I just colored it in with my markers a bit to get some red on the hat. So if I can open it again. <laughs> So this can be placed over on the side here, like so. And I also made her a purse here. And um, I uh, cut uh, this lady out twice and uh, the dress is uh, popped up and also these uh, roses here. So it's a magnet under her hand here, like so. And uh, this purse can be taken off. So I can do some journaling or put a little photo inside here. And here is a punch I used. I think it's a stamping up a punch. So I punched out twice. So she has to have a little handbag. And some more fussy cutting. And this is from the cut sock cutouts. And um, here is the pocket. So here I use the stamps again. I can do some journaling or photos here. I think I just lay it to the side so it doesn't take so long time. And a couple of tags behind here. So, some steps. So, and it's a lot of place for a lot of uh, photos in this uh, album. So, for the next page here, I have, I could start here. Uh, this is a Tim Holtz uh, die. So, it puts with a magnet again here. So, photo frame. So, and also this can be used as a photo frame. So, and here it says simply elegant, and uh, that's from the sticker sheet. So this goes back in place here, there's a magnet under here. And uh, from the next side here is a peacock again, and uh, opens like so, and this is also a magnet. And here, if you see, this is from the cardstock cutout, but I used the outside of uh, the image here. And then it was some line of this green around, so I used that also. Used the other one, uh, uh, show you later what uh, that was inside. So here is one uh, flower cut out and a uh, bling in the center. And here it says bling. And uh, here is just uh, some, you can do some journaling and, uh, and um, yeah, play some photos. So and here I see it. I used a new uh, glue here and it isn't <laughs> good at uh, all. So I won't use that anymore. I had to go over all the pages here because it wasn't fastening good. So that happens sometimes when you try something new. So this goes back in place. So what magnets here. And now for the next page. Here is a lovely lady cut out and some flowers and a shoe again that I colored in. And it's popped up. And uh, this opens like so. And uh, this also have placed on a magnet here. So this is magnetic. And here I made an envelope. And uh, have a little inside here. So this is from the cardstock cutout. So I can do some journaling or photos or anything. So I think I'll just leave it to the side here. This was a magnet. No, I don't remember where this is supposed to go. Yeah, that was the closure for uh, this envelope here. And some magnet closure here. So, uh, another little tag with a hat here. And some uh, hats here. And flowers. And uh, this is from the shipboard cutouts. And this goes back over the lady like so. so maybe I forgot something on the other side here. Yeah, I forgot to show you. This opens like so. 
So um, this is a middle, this is binding with a thread binding and I have a video tutorial on how to do that so I will uh, link to that below. So I bind it it's with thread here and put the hinge over so maybe you can see it here. I'll give you a close up, maybe too dark. So here are just some, uh, some uh, things you can put a photo or, and do some journaling here. So. So oh, yeah, and then for this side here, so a lovely lady again and I dressed her up a bit with a hat and a scarf here and some uh, flat back pearls and uh, this was off white and I painted them black and some lace from my stash here. So it opens up and here it says oh la la. And I really love this uh, shape of uh, the lady here, it's a heart form shape. And uh, here's a photo mat again, some tags inside. And this is uh, from Sisyk's uh, uh, die. So you can place a photo here or, uh, yeah, and on the back here. And a shoe here that I popped up and some fussy cut flowers. And this is fastened with a magnet so you can place a note under. So, and uh, yeah, some border strip from the paper line. So then for the next page here, this flips out, and this I haven't backed at all, so maybe glued it down, <laughs> so you can place a photo under here, so just like so. And here is a um, photo mat again, the girl should be, two things, classy and fabulous, and some, you can do some journaling or uh, some photos, and this is also a magnet here. So I can place uh, something under here, a tag or anything. And I cut out some uh, uh, peacock feathers here. And this is uh, the same uh, dye again, magnolia. Peacock feather dye. The shoe that I colored in. And this uh, shoe here is uh, from the paper line. So, uh, and uh, here I have an Eiffel Tower. And it's uh, this one. And uh, I think it's from Whimsy Stamps. And here is uh, the other inside uh, for the other uh, that I cut out, that I showed before here. So this is also magnetic, and this also. So this frame can be taken out and uh, placed a magnet under here as well. So put in some photos here. And uh, this opens up in the middle. So all the pages here are double, so, so three of them I... Uh, I um, opened up in the middle and three I made for pockets. So here are some for, uh, from the border stripes and uh, here is a tag. Here's some journaling or photos and so many lovely uh, images to uh, cut out from this paper line. I really love it so I made a lot of uh, things with it. So. And I cut out some hats and uh, yeah, here are some tags stuck in here and I put on a hat here and here and a scarf here and the hat can be pulled up if I haven't glued it on, so. And here is some of the glasses again. So this goes over here, so. So fun working <laughs> with these papers, I can't say it enough. And this I also cut out. Uh, it was from um, be, uh, beside this lady, it was uh, this uh, bow here. So I decided to put her on here and colored in a bit black here. So this closes up again, like so. And uh, now for the next page. And uh, here is another flap, and a lady, and a little tag behind here. And here it says, Ulala. La. And uh, here I made some uh, um, strips to hold uh, these tags, so this opens like so, and it's a magnet closure here. So another frame here, just for some photos. So here I glued on her a hat again. So, and I have a stopper with this uh, flower down here. It says you are gorgeous, and here it says beautiful. So this tags over this belly band here, like so. And 
And uh, the same for the other side. I tried to make the album so it uh, matches with the colors for each uh, page. So here is another shoe that I colored and a gorgeous lady. And these two ladies here. And here I cut out uh, this, I'm not sure what it's called, a uh, brochure or something, and popped it up on some flowers. And uh, here is a stunning and some shoes. And uh, yeah, and this also opens up like so. And uh, also I have an image on the back, and uh, this can be taken out like so. So, another tag behind here. So, and this also can be used as a photo mat. So, this goes inside here. And this over with a magnet closure. So, that was uh, that pitch. And here we have another pocket again. And here it says fashionable. And uh, some uh, more stamps here. And a dress form. So, uh, yeah. And here I have some uh, tags behind this beautiful lady. So I just cut them out and layered them with uh, some peacock feathers here. So here are some leftovers from the inside here. I just cut it out. So then you get more out of the paper. And also cut out this. So these are just uh, plain stuck behind here. And this also popped up. You are fabulous. And um, here is a little envelope and that's uh, from the cards of cutouts and fastened with uh, magnets. So I have a little card inside here. If I can get it out. Like so couture. So this goes on here and uh, the same. Uh, Photo mats and uh, tags here. So, let me give you a close up of the ladies here. So, and this also opened this way. And this is uh, just uh, plain inside. I haven't done anything here, so here is a lot of uh, place for some journaling. You can place some photos here. And this opens this way and this way. So this is fastened with magnets, so when you open this, it's a magnet here, so then it's loose. So, and these are from the sticker sheets, the borders. And now for the last uh, page here. Um, a beautiful lady, and I put a bling on her here. And uh, this opens like so, and this uh, mirror here is from uh, Tim Holtz uh, die. Like so. And uh, another tag here. I also cut out this uh, bow here and these two ladies here. And these are just with uh, repositional tape so it can be taken off. And place some, uh, some photos here. And this uh, border here I cut out from the 6x6 six six, uh, papers. And some beautiful ladies here and a uh, little tag behind and it says lovely here. And uh, most of these here I backed with uh, black paper. So they pop more up. So let me take this inside again. And uh, now for the last here, it's a flip out. And I have a couple of tags here. Like so. So it's a magnet here, so this fasten here. So I just got out two of these ladies, and uh, this is from the flowers uh, cardstock cutouts. And a little more uh, round circle here. So, and it flips out like so. And here I have a photo mat. So, and here I have a slot uh, punch for some photos to stack in behind. And some journaling, and I can do some writing or place a photo here. And uh, yeah. And a little shoe here. And here is a um, photo uh, frame or mat, a uh, little booklet. <laughs> So this is loose here, you can stack something under, some stamps again, and here on the back as well. So, and this is a photo frame from uh, Tim Holtz. So this is uh, loose with a magnet inside, so you can place a photo here. So, this beautiful lady again. And uh, on the back side here, 
this then coordinates with the back side here on here. I can maybe take it in and show you. So, so just fasten with the magnets here. So uh, here I have this is a magnetic. This is from the cutstock out and then cutouts and then I used a stepping up punch to punch out behind here. And this is cut out from this lady here, the bow here. So here I dressed up a lady again <laughs> with a, a bow or a scarf and a hat here. And uh, on the back I place a photo here. And some peacock feathers again here. And um, goes behind here. And then I also cut out uh, some more leaves uh, that coordinates with the uh, pink here. So, and this I think I showed. So this uh, was my project and I had a really fun time making it. And I hope it's a bit inspiring and that you want to try some fussy cut and uh, layer and uh, I know it takes a lot of time and uh, if you don't like fussy cut you can uh, use uh, the images and uh, as uh, they are. So uh, it's a lot of uh, things. I don't have anything left I think. But uh, the frames you can use with the uh, images inside you don't have to do fussy cutting if you don't like to or have the time. So thank you so much for watching everyone and uh, have fun creating. Take care. Bye bye.